Okay, so we're gonna make a guide here for the Army Battle Season 3 Final Battle. After six hours of streaming, we finally finished it and we got the Hood of Heroes number 25. Uh, so we did a pretty good job on doing that. This is gonna go over everything. Uh, the video and everything you're gonna see in this video will be timestamped eventually. Uh, and the issue is, is that I'm recording this before the 10K gold crowns are finished. Um, so they will nerf this event. So if you, wanna, if you don't care about the gold crown, they will nerf it and after all of them are gone they want to add more checkpoints so look different probably things will probably be removed who knows things may be easier so uh if you want to wait for that i may make a video on that eventually or uh just watch this video and it should be kind of similar but more checkpoints so let's start off with the first thing if you don't have your bits activated i'll put a video in the description to watch that um but if you don't have a bit activated then you can't do this so first things first, you want to go talk to Duncan, which activates the charge pad in the subway. So head to the subway door as you normally would with some charge and I'll charge it to fully 100%. Then power the train as you would by clicking on that, get some dialogue and you're good to go with that there. Now we'll speed it up a little bit to make this a bit faster as it's going to be a long, it's an hour long video. So speed it up 1.5, I should be able to talk faster. So. If I'm going pretty fast, I'm sorry. Probably pause the video or go backwards a couple seconds here and there. So let's go ahead. The first things first, we got to pay attention. We're going to spawn into the subway here and it's going to have these two numbers. Uh, that would be random. The code is random every time. Not the same. It's always random. Even if you die, uh, you will have to do it again if you die early on here. So with that being said, you want to look at the right side of the window. And there should be two billboards, two pink billboards with two numbers. So you see right here, the first number would be 27 for myself and 20. So the one is back there. If you saw it, it's going to be, I saw, I saw it quickly because it's, um, I've done it many times. So key card in the back, head to the front engine room, and then touch the keypad on the right over here, just by touching it. And then you want to go and uh, override autopilot. You want to click when the dot is under the white dot, under the yellow dot. And when it's a log line, you want to hold it down. So click, hold, let go, click, click. And that will, it could, it could be off by a little bit, no big deal, but you just have to just be close to it. Now, when your next thing is you have to wait for subway to turn to the right. So standing over here is probably the better idea. Or you stand inside of it if you want, but eventually you will have to stand right over here and you have to exit out the subway. So you can do that or, for, or go from the back, either or. And jump out at the steel beam here. And you're good to go. Now, first things first, pick up the batteries in the construction area. So pick them up and you want to press F and then click on the robot. Now you can control it with your movement keys and press click to use its attack. Then I press F to exit out and then go to the box. Now go to the conveyor belts here and you want to jump on the conveyor belts and do not fall off. Press F again, uh, hack the robot, head up here. And then you just do exactly what this is over here. Just click one, click two. Then uh, do it again here, number three. And then get up the ramp here, hug the wall, and then click again, and then exit out. Then go where you open the path to. And then you got some more conveyor belts here. So just make sure the jump, use a dive if you can, double jump. Three more conveyor belts, dodge the turrets. And you know, just make it across here as best as possible. Just like that. Now head up here and then gonna charge your jetpack or your battery pack 100%. And you can either go from here or you go from up here. So I went up here because I'm just used to it. But if you could not do that, just do it from down there. No big deal. And what you want to do is press shift and then dash. So di shift, dash, shift, dash, shift, dash. You get there of saving your jetpack fuel. Hack the turret like you hacked the subway. So click, 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 click. And you can see that uh, it is we miss like you can mess up pretty easily and this will kill the robot in the front and then you just jetpack across as you did similar to the building here shift control shift control then we're gonna head inside the building here and we're gonna head up the elevator here now elevator just go it up uh there's a bunch of platforms maybe a mobile bit difficult but on pc you can just skip most of this so we just go up the edge the, the wall here so come up here and just go up like this and you'll climb it pretty easily uh, that's for sure and pretty quickly without having any worry about the turrets and you should be closer to the ladder here 
The next part would be difficult, uh, the, the, the lights part. There's a checkpoint before it though, so you don't have to do this all over again. This would be your first checkpoint uh, during the Golden Crown uh, update. And eventually, there'll probably be more checkpoints before this, but the first checkpoint of the Golden Crown is this one here. So this one is the Net Punk server room, and hit checkpoint like this, and then we have the light room. So light room is probably one of the harder ones to go for. Uh, all you need to do is be patient. This it might be laggy, it might be be fixed, it might be being be nerfed um, in the future. But for me, it doesn't lag that much, and I have uh, like 50 frames per second, so I don't know if that helps or not. But what you want to do is just go slow. Don't need to jump. No need to roll that much. Um, but first things first, hit the first exit or first thing, which is going to go hack uh, this console here, and then open up, it'll open up the door in a bit similar area. Uh, there's a spot you probably can stand to uh, never get caught at a certain spot. But uh, the one thing to know about these lights is that they move in one direction. So they don't, they're not gonna ever going to swerve and go towards you. As long as you're watching the light, it's okay. that one's always going to go That one's gonna go down, no matter what. So just don't go that way. These two are going left and up and right. And you guys just time it correctly where you, you, you're always looking where they're going to go. They're going to go in the same spots, same pattern. Just, okay, that one's going up all the way. If it's going that way, just back up a little bit. Don't need to rush things. Don't not panic. Just look for when they're, if they're coming towards you, just back up. But always look behind you. Um, just play it safe. Look for every opening. Move your camera along a lot. But of course, like I've said, this might get nerfed. And it'll be easier, probably. Less probably keys to go for. Probably less lights, probably. Uh, but right now, for doing this part, it's hard for the, the golden crown, for sure. With the lag, and uh, it's just tedious, for sure, for sure. So, usually I head, usually when I go to this part, I will go in the middle most of the time. That's like the safest spot. The lights have to go in the corners, not really stay in the middle. So, you see here, you stand here, and this should work. Uh, it works for me, but that, that pillar right there uh, does help a lot. That is for sure, but it's not 100% certain. So to see that, I could have rushed through there, but I didn't. And then I went backwards again just to be safe uh, without no point rushing through it. Right. One bad mistake, you're, you have to reset and do this part again. So it is, that's why we just take it slow and just make sure that we're not hitting anything. So I can see the top light is going all the way down. We cannot go this way. Right. I saw it from the top and went all the way to the bottom. So we can't go that way. So we went, okay, let's go around. And the third one. Right. Next up, last key. We're gonna go ahead to the middle as always. I wait for this one to go through. I saw going diagonal, so we're gonna just wait for that. This one going diagonal again. So we're gonna go straight to the left here, and then I use the spot again to be safe, and we just cut to the corner. Go to the right. Looks very easy watching it, obviously, but it, it requires. It's not my first time doing this. It's a lot of practice, and a lot of hours. I've failed this a lot. I'll be honest with you. So it's just, it's a bit tedious. It's annoying. Yes, it's tedious. Yes, hours. Maybe you should take that much hours, but it is annoying. It is very hard and it's, yeah, it sucks. But the harder part is the next part, the more annoying part. Not hard, but once you know this, I guess you probably will nerf it, the, the, the factory part. But uh, we'll see, I guess. But I'll, I guess I'll show you guys what I did. It's a lot of back and forth, but... Uh, Good luck, I guess. I don't know. We'll try my best to show you everything that I did. So, net punk factory, click the door, hack the robot, hack the robot, click to put him in the hole, sit in the portal turret, shoot the portal in the front, any portal, portal to the right, the opposite color, uh, push the button behind you, and then walk to the portal. And now, here is the puzzle. So, here we go. So, now pick up the batteries. Always pick, always pick up the batteries, no matter what. Batteries all the time. Put a portal down here, then put a portal up there. And I clicked, I clicked E, but it did the pink one again. So I put the blue one down here, head inside this portal, then click the button, head down to the elevator, click the button to go up the elevator. Now the tedious part, uh, once you're up here, you have to go and hack these robots. So actually before I do this is actually you have to click the button on the right over there. So this button over here. Then you go back and hack the robot. You want to stand in this railing here so you can shoot through the uh, the, the hole. Uh, it doesn't uh, go through walls, so you only stand in that hole. You should be able to go. Put the robot there, then stand here again and get at least three to four 
robots. It's, it's just tedious. And you just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It saves all the time. It saves, it's, you need them all. So just keep doing this. Do four or three. Uh, and hold down the mouse button, hold down the, the charge to charge up and get at least four. So once all four is on there, go click the button to go the elevator down. And then we're going to head across here and pick up the batteries. And we're going to go ahead and bring one robot across here. So one robot, take that across, all the way across. And we're going to get up to the bridge and then un get out of the hack. Uh, resonator. And we're going to click the button to open the bridge for this side. And we're going to hack the robot again. And the robot is going to head to the left here. And... Uh, Go into the portal turret here. Double check which portal you need from the one at the top. So I'm going to put, uh, I think it's pink or blue. Uh, blue, yeah, because I put pink outside. Oh, I did not. It doesn't matter. Honestly, you go into the in turret and then you put pink there. Pick up the batteries as always. Put the pink in. And you hit in, then you go head inside the portal. Now, uh, you could take the robot out. Shut the robot out anyways. But move the turret to the left here. Take the robot out by hacking it, but also you could use it as a, you could use it as well. So you want to shoot a portal up there, so it would be pink or blue. Then you want to keep the rope, put the robot outside. That's what you want to do. Put the robot outside at the front of the door. Then you want to go into the portal and then click the button. Then head down again, watch the turrets, hack the port, hack the robot again, and then put the robot there then you have to go all the way back pair with the batteries again get your charge up and then get another robot pretty much so bring that robot all the way across like so and once you bring it across you want to go where you put that robot to the left go straight to the middle there's a bridge that spawns in and put that robot inside here now after that you now want to pick up the batteries again get your charge up and now i forgot the next part it is uh, da, 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 da. we go into the portal with the bring the robots to the portal so double check which portal i said i put pink up there so i put a blue portal down here then i bring both the robots over here so a little bit tedious but it has to be done so bring the robots over here i mean uh, do you, i yeah you do i think so bring both robots to this spot here to the thing and then bring them all the way around over here and leave them there so bring both just like this leave them there then head into the portal and i took care of the turrets because they're annoying so you can take this turret here hack it jump and then press it and then you just shoot them five times one two three four five one two three four five that's it leave that one alive then take out the battery and what you want to do here before you hack it you want to move these over here first so one to the left to the left to the left and that will portal that. And then we want to choose a portal that's not the same one there. So it'll be pink to this side. And then don't hack it yet. The robot, you want to move these over. So three and four, like so. And then you want to hack the robot and hack them and put them into the uh, hole to the fourth slot to the right here. Just like so, like that. Put them in. Then uh after that you want to go battery it spawns one there's one spawns there then after that you want to move uh this robot and all the way to the corner of four so you put that there then you rotate four to the little hole and then you hack them again and put them inside there and you make them wait there pretty much so you wait let them wait and that's it boom then after that now you want to head back through the portal and you want to head to back, you need two more robots. So you want to go back to the elevator here. Since you put that guy on the uh, slot over there, number four, you want to go back here and then shoot the right correct portal that you put in. I forgot what number, what, what it was, but I think it was yeah, blue or pink, either or, I don't remember. Anyways, so you want to hack a robot and bring both of them into the portal. So it should go to the pink, which is near where that hole is exactly what we need and then one more robot like so just like this and do the exact same thing as you i did earlier okay just like so boom now don't need to go inside yet 
when I go ahead and move, should move this. Should have probably moved this before you did this, but very important. Also, get batteries. So I, I tedious as you know, I uh, get the batteries. So go back here, back down before I go to the portal. Pick up the batteries. You get thirty percent, at least thirty percent. Head back up. Yeah, it's a, it's annoying, yes, but it is very much needed, and I, I, I trust me, you do need it. Head to the portal like so. Then you want to go ahead and rotate uh, four all the way around back to like this then have two rotated no two is fine i go batteries you want to go ahead and hack the robot outside or inside and you want to go all the way around and you want to get this robot to the middle of one i don't know if you need to but i just did just in case it didn't stick to the thing you want to rotate one one time then after that, hack the robot in the middle of one. And you want to, I don't know if you need to do this, but I do it anyways, just in case it may scuff something. Uh, I go ahead and put robot in here, which burns this. Then click, click mouse up or click it again to make it escape. Then head out pretty much. Then you want to go ahead and go inside the hole here. And you want to make sure that you pick the right portal here. You can check uh, pretty much by looking like this. So it's pink. So you put a blue behind me. So blue behind like so. All the way around. Click that. Boom. Then you want to get a robot out and put the put very important. Put the robot on the elevator like so. Now pick up the battery behind you as you want to need it and then hack this robot and this robot goes to the portal and that then this goes on the elevator as well. Now after that you go in the portal then you go ahead and hack the robot over there. And then you put the robot into the slot. Then you let the elevator go up, right? And you have exactly 10% battery juice to go ahead and put this one robot behind us right here. So you're going to go ahead and hack the robot like so inside here, just like this. And then you want to go ahead and pick up the battery in this area over here. Then ride the conveyor belt all the way all the way down to this next platform. Just make sure you don't fall off or die. Push the button. Then the elevator stops moving. Then you go ahead and hack the robot that you left on the elevator. And the, this robot will go ahead and uh, head into the room next to you, basically. So hack the robot. Be careful. Hack the right one. And there is that over here. So now head inside and put the robot in here. And just open the door for yourself like so and then a battery in here and a battery down the hallway as you need them and then you want to go ahead and push the button and then uh put the robot into the next slot which opens the door next to you basically that you close with the button pick up the battery for more battery power and then it's a bit iffy i always forget what to do for this one but you can close the door open the door this will open its own door here And then if you exit out, it'll close the door. So uh, I think you have to I press the button again, I think. It's such a awkward thing. I don't think you just need to, uh, yeah, hack it. No, uh, well, push the button. Yeah, you push the button, and then you hack it. I'm pretty sure. So you, well, not this. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, that does work. It's, a, it's, it's, I don't know. It, yeah, yeah. Now you push the button again, and then now your buddy's there. I don't know. It's it's a bit wonky. I don't know. It's not hard to really figure out. Whatever. Anyways, this part here, you have to mat. You have to all four corners has to hit the turret. So you have to every you have to use every single piece. Uh, if people say it's buggy, maybe they might they might have they might remove this. Honestly, it's pretty difficult and not fun. But uh, uh, there's no correct order. I'll be honest with you. Uh, like putting things together. So I'm gonna skip to the end. You can take a you can take a screenshot or just pause the video. I show the solution of what I have. So here's the end of it. Uh like I said, it just I just made sure to put everything and it just works all together. Like so. Boom. Let's like that. So just pause the video, screenshot it. That is the solution I have. Um don't know much anything else. So put a pick portal, blue portal there, put a blue portal up there. And what you want to do before I forgot is you have to push the button, uh, this button one time 
and then you hack the uh, robot, get the batteries, need the batteries once again. Uh, you hack the robots, pretty much, and then you jump out, and then you push the button, and then you hack the robot again, and you have to push the button over there, which I kind of forgot, which I'm a skilled gamer. So you push the button here, boop, and then you get back, pick up a battery. I, I battery I'm blind, another battery I'm blind. Hack the robot, like so then put it in the portal. You want to walk straight though, and it will land on the, uh, the platform. It's a bit buggy, but it's a bit, eh, it's whatever. Just keep walking straight, you'll hit it eventually. Then you put plop the robot here, and then you're pretty much done. You go through the portal, and then you jump into the hole without any fire in the pit, and you are done factory, and your second checkpoint before Golden Crown comes, uh, gets nerfed, or the nerf. So here, uh, it's a parkour, but it's very easy to do. Don't do this. So I was told you could just cheese it and head to the left here onto the glass panel. So like just use jetpack like this and then just walk across the glass ridge and you're good to go for the most part. This is, this would have been nice to know during my final battle run, but what can I say? I guess that's a bit unfortunate. Anyway, so pick up batteries and do the same thing for this side as well. This makes it 10 times easier <laughs> for the most part. Like I say, it would have been nice to know about this, but whatever, I guess. So with this being said, we're going to head over to these purple platforms over here and they will, they will, they will open up when you're near it. So use a jetpack when you need to, uh, like here, jetpack, uh, like this. And then uh, up to the red button, click the red button and drop down. And now we have a new checkpoint, which is very important. Now, very important. The checkpoint is very important. If you're starting to lag, if it's not, lag is not fixed yet. You can leave the game and rejoin and you join back at the checkpoint. Usually for me, the lag disappears when I rejoin the game. So you can rejoin the game now and you'll have less lag during everything else. So here. We have the first thing, which is lava escape. Now I'll show you a shortcut. If you can do it, you can do it. It'll make lava escape much, much easier, but it does require some practice doing other stuff as well. So I'll show you guys the run here. Okay, so lava escape, uh, difficult, uh, but just follow this and you can skip half the obby and you're always gonna beat her mostly. So but if, if you're lagging, if it's not lagging anymore, like I said, just reset uh, your lobby and rejoin it through the subway again and pick the checkpoint. So there is that. So do the fans as normal. Jump up, jump up. One, two. And then from here, you can make to the third platform over here, the spinning one. And you want to wall jump up like this. So like that. And then you can do the boxes. And that's it. You're pretty much shouldn't be able to lose this race and skip the hard part which is the rng conveyor belt which is very very annoying to deal with and then there you go now second battle you have a uh, target practice whatever it's called target i don't know what it's called anyways that you can fail and you'll go to the battle back and then you have similar simulator scrimmage which is you can't really fail that uh dennis doesn't actually do anything and doesn't make it that hard. This one's hard to beat. If you can't do it, that's fine. You failing is fine. No big deal. You can still beat the second, the other option, the other obby, the other uh, mini game. This one is not hard to deal with. It's just a timing. If you're good at target, just get try to focus on the uh, the uh, yellow things, the yellow uh, targets, and dodge their arrows. Those arrows will do five damage to you and stun you. So just make sure you're dodging their arrows as well. Um, but you can just target the pink, yellow ones, and then you should be good to go. Uh, for the most part so you're gonna do more multitasking you can do damage to them i'm pretty sure if you hit them they do they get a negative one point i don't remember yeah they get negative one point if you hit them so there is that as well but yeah if you hit a mine you and they hit you you lose three points for hitting mine and five points for getting hit by an arrow so yeah there is that then we have the uh the, the battle craig whatever it's called uh i'll show you this is the run i do so uh beat them first to the first button then second button, beat him here faster. Then up this area here, double jump. Then you stand here, the button, they you tend to go there. Wall jump, uh, shift dash, whatever. Then dash up here. Then uh, dash, be careful here, button number four. 
Then over here, the glass wall. Follow the ramp up here. Number five is down, jump down. Number five. Then follow the, uh, the road here. And then number six. Now to get up to the top, be careful. Uh, you might fall off. So just follow this here. I kind of forgot where I was, but it's something around something around here, pretty much. Up, up, up. And then there should just be a giant wedge here. This wedge is where you need to go up. And then these, I have some trouble with because they're bugging out. The button's up there, but uh, eventually you figure it out. Uh, you know, it's scuffed. It's a bit scuffy. Um, so I just took it slow and just went to the right here. It doesn't fall off. And try to just get up there like that. And there you go. Six buttons and then to the top. They have, I'll probably get nerfed to probably less buttons in the future. There you go. Now, that is the final battle. Uh, battle, battle thing. Head through the white door. Uh, and you get to the next part, which is the crab part. So crab part, you have to find these three crystals. So there's a red crystal. You touch this bush over here. One crystal there. Then second crystal, you want to head near the crab at the top here. Um, and it's next to this tree. Do that. Then after that, this third crystal will be in the waterfall right here. Pick that up and head back to the crab. And uh, pick, up, pick up batteries as well. Uh, and you want to put all three down. Hack the crab. It activates it. And then you want to go ahead and head to this direction here where the uh, mannequin is fallen and you want to head near the feet or the ankles, whatever. They're always in the same spot for me and everybody else. So head to this spot right here where the golden uh, dust is. Click to dig. Picks up a key card. You want to go ahead and head back to your character, head back to the island and then exit out. You want to have battery life because the crap uses battery over time. And you gotta just once you get here, just press F. Uh, and then pick up the key, uh, key card from the crab from its hand, like so. Now, after that, take the key card and head to the waterfall. And this will open it up for the next part here. So I've, I've slowed this down to make this so you can watch this. The, the path to the maze is not hard. But if you do, you can die. And if you do die, do, do everything again. All the battle, mini games again. So be careful. So follow the path. So straight, right, right. We'll keep going straight. Straight, straight, straight. Then take your first left, no matter what. Take your first left, like so. Go straight, go straight, go straight, go straight, go straight. Take a right. Go straight, then take a left. That's it. You're done. That is the maze. That's it. That's all you need to do. Do the exact same thing I did, and you should be good to go with that part right there. After this, we're at the final battle. Pretty much. So, depots. We are going to go ahead and head to the door over there and use the key card to open the door. And then you have another chance if you're lagging, get a checkpoint right before the boss battle. And you can reset your game lag if it's not like if the game is fixed and it's fine. But if you need to fix a lag, then you can just leave the game now. Well, checkpoint first, obviously. It's a long loading screen. Don't worry. It's not crashed. It's a very long loading screen. But if you want to refresh your frames, uh, leave the game now. Uh, and then checkpoint right here in front of us. Let's pick that up first and then leave the game and then go back here. No, final battle. Uh, here we go. So after the cutscene, uh, very important to pick up the batteries around the map. So there's four of them. So just go around. The game is lagging a lot uh, from this recording here. So uh, bear with me with the lag here. Um, and you want to head to this direction over here. Look, right, my mouse is. See that red platform up there? So we're going to head this way. This is, this is my path I take. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do this path real quick. So I do jump down here. And then jetpack one time up. And then jump back again, one time, dash, one dash here, one dash here. And then this is a bit risky here, but you can do this. It's a bit hard. I don't know. It may get any way, other way to get up there. Fine. Uh, and then you want to head up here. Uh, kind of? No, you want to go left, actually. So go left. Don't go up there. Uh, and then you follow this path here. And you want to do some parkour here. I'm going to mess this up, obviously. But there's a platform you got to jump across. Use a jetpack if you want, but you want to save jetpack for the next part, which is difficult to do. So head up here as you would. 
and I fall off here, I'm pretty sure. And let's do this again. One, two. And then do this instead, like that. Up this, up that. And then I'm going to take some jetpack jumps here just to be safe. And the land point or the point of where you're looking for is up here. And there should be a trolley or a lift here, whatever this is called, and a turret next to it. That's where you're going to go. The turret and the, the, the blue trolley there. You want to head up the rock here and then dash like this. Or no, wall jump like this. And then you. this is where you need to go. Now we're inside the rock hole. Take a left. And you want to jump down and be careful with this part here. Because if you die, you die. And it's some these jumps are pretty hard. You got to get used to them. But you have some jetpack fill. Don't use all jetpack fill. Just use as much as you can. Uh, as best as you can without losing all of it. So just do jumps correctly. All your practice pays off, right? And keep going around the circle. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just don't fall off. Game lags, as always. Boop, 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 boop. Hug the wall still. There's a little bit more to go. And then use jetpack jump here just to be safe. And then we're going to go into the near the robot and robot will spawn us automatically once we're near it. Now you can double double tap spacebar to hover or fly. And you can press Q and E to go down. So I go in Q to go down. And then the strat here is to go to his legs and near the platform. So you can you can spam punch him basically so all we need to do is do this basically and try not to fall too much down because if you touch the ground like this you'll redo your jump so double tap space again and then just hover near his legs and keep moving keep punching him near this near the platform hugging the platform so when you because whenever you punch it pushes you backwards so the knockback is pretty hard but if you're able to uh, uh remove the knockback by keep punching it by hitting the wall then you can attack him more often pretty much so just be careful of getting knocked into the lava won't do damage to you so you're fine if you touch the lava with your robot so as long as you keep uh, hitting like this you have your health on the bottom left if you know this is pretty much all you need to do the control is the bottom right if you didn't see that already and then get to this amount of health and then you get the final phase you get pushed back and then cutscene blah 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 but if you're lagging like me it's gonna look very bad but all you need to do here it's his robot arm will throw bombs at you. You gotta click and hit the thing. They're probably gonna nerf the health of this thing to do uh, have less health uh, hitting the bombs. Just gotta dot, make sure you're looking where the lava is and go for bombs that are gonna be towards you. You have a lot of time to do this. You don't have a rush. Lots of time. So you can look at the robot arm. It'll show where it's gonna drop it before it drops, basically. So middle, middle, left, left again, right, and don't go for it left right middle middle the, the guitar has some range just make sure you can you can dash in this one uh but the more you hit it the further it goes back so that's why the lava behind you is not an issue just be careful this part here there's uh just holes and then you automatically get put onto the platform here and they have to fight uh jp uh nah, <laughs> this is laggy but if it's not lagging he doesn't do a lot of damage he does these ring attacks where you do have to jump and dodge them they do hurt if you do take all of them, so just make sure you just don't just dodge them. And then when he's attacking with a sword, it doesn't do much damage. So just keep hitting him. And then that's it. Once you defeat him, just wait up, wait on the uh this uh, drone, I guess you call it, and then you win. Just like that. Just just stay there, to be careful, and don't worry about it too much. Once you get that nostalgic trip, go you head to the ship, talk to Jay Party, listen to what he has to say, then you can just leave. Uh, to the back doors if you want to get your prizes early go back to the end your journey and then as you can know as you know just head to the top get your crown at the top here and you're good to go just like over here click touch this thing and you got your badges and everything and that's it that is the hard version of rb battles it'll be nerfed it'll be more checkpoints probably in a couple of days from now but 
Hope you guys enjoy that. This is the uh, show my best. Our battles is pretty much done. Good season. Uh, well, final battle was fun. Some delays, you know, kind of sucks, but uh, it is what it is sometimes. So hope you guys enjoy that, and hopefully I explain it pretty well. Yes.